Hey guys, just wanted to show you something I've been working on. Um, it's a bit of a mess, but uh, it's a small area and I'm okay with that. So, this is what I've been working on. Uh, in the back room, background, there's that large 12 volt battery. And I think it's 75 amp hours. And I have a PWM here. I have the battery charger. I have the amp meter hooked up to the battery charger so that merit, uh, measures the uh, amperage coming in from the battery charger to the PWM. So whatever's being used is going to show up on that meter. Um, from that, the PWM goes out and goes through that resonant rod with the magnets. It's by filer wound. So one side goes through all the way through and then comes out and goes through a transistor and then goes back into the PWM. The other side comes out and goes through this bridge rectifier and goes into that battery. As well I have this meter which is reading 12 volts on the button which is hooked up to the battery as well. So that's basically it, plus or minus a few small capacitors, and I'm going to show you what it does. Um, I'm just going to plug it in the wall right now, so you can come with me. You may be able to hear it. You may not. I can hear it. Um, but you can see the meter is reading zero amps coming in. Zero. Okay. The PWM is obviously on because it's lit. There is definitely power going through here because I've measured it coming out. Um, but I only have these two meters right now. So it is hooked up to that battery and hopefully you'll see the voltage come up. It does take a while because it's a big battery um, but the voltage will come up and it will charge. It's pumping out about I want to say 130 volts going into that battery coming from the bridge rectifier. The reason why there's so many wires on there is I just doubled up all the connections. So every connection I have has uh, two sets of wires on it. So the three wires on the negative, two of them are going to the negative of the bridge rectifier and the third one is going to the meter. The one on the positive side, two of them are going to the positive on the bridge rectifier and the third one is going to the meter. So it does take a while, but it does work. And I know the meter is working fine. I've already checked it on other stuff and it's working fine. I don't know how calibrated it is, but it definitely works fine. I'm going to just, uh, I'll turn it up like just, just a hair, just so you can see and hear the difference. So I'm just going to turn it up ever so slightly. It, it might go to 0 0.01, we'll see. Right, can you hear that? So there's obviously power going through there. And this is a uh, variable frequency PWM, so I can change the frequency, and I've been playing with it quite a bit. It does definitely take some time. It's a big battery. But there's almost, like you might as well say there's no power, like there's basically zero coming out of there.
and that number I just gave you of about 130 something volts, that's with the meter reading zero. Oh, there we go, it's starting to come up, just flickered. And when it's reading 0 0.01, it's uh, over 200 volts coming out. See it? It's starting to go. It does take a long time at this setting, but it really does work. I, I, I was charging this from, oh, I think it was, because the battery is pretty low, I think it was 11.94. Uh, and it did take about a half hour uh, to come up to 12, and then I let it settle for about an hour and it didn't go, it didn't, it just stayed at 12. So now it's at 12.01. So you can see the voltage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and remove one side from the battery, the negative side, so that you can see the voltage that's coming out of the system at 0 0.01. Okay. So, we're at about 190 volts coming out of that, and it's flashing 0 .000 to 0.01, so basically nothing coming out of there. Alright, so now I'm going to hook it back, I'm going to try and hook it back up with one hand. Oops, we lost the clip, that's not good. You see it spark when I put it on there. So yeah, I got some pretty high voltage going on there. Basically charging a battery for nothing. A large battery at that, that's a huge battery. Um, like I said, it's 75 amp hours. It's a massive battery. Um, and it will charge at uh, the meter showing absolutely zeros across the board. It just takes longer, uh, but it definitely does because I've done it. So um, maybe I can do a high speed video later to show you, but basically that's what's going on. Something very interesting um, to know, like how to tune these things. It's, it's super hard, but I've been doing this for years. Magnets, those are one, two, three, four, five neo dynamic magnets on one, neodymium magnets on one side and f one magnet on the other side and they're super strong. Those are imperative when trying to do this sort of thing. Without it, it won't work. Without the caps on the um, bridge rectifier, it won't work either. Like that's what tuning is about. You really have to take your time and tune this thing and find the spot. And then once you do that, you still have to find the right frequency and duty cycle. So it's not as uh, simple as it sounds to get this result. And again, that that voltage of uh, what was it, 190, which is at you know 0, .0 to 0 0.01. If, if I put it up to I don't know, let's say 0 0.1 of an amp, which is what 100 milliamps, the voltage coming out of this is over a thousand volts. So uh, it is very powerful and it is very dangerous, uh, but it is very unique and I'm hoping to do some other experiments uh, with it soon when I get more time. I just haven't had any, haven't any time to play with it. Um, I want to charge caps in that. So anyways, let me know what you think. Thanks.